So hi, uh, my name is Harrison. This is my Pres One football placement, um, and I will be speaking about my time at Card Met this year. So section two, uh, it's the background, our the mission, the vision, values, sector, key activities, and customers. So start. Let's start with the background. Uh, it's a university team who play within the top tier of Welsh football called the JD Cymru Premier. Uh, they've been in there since the 2016-17 season. And yeah, they went from the fourth tier to Europa League, which is uh, unthinkable to think about. Um, on the bottom right, you will see some of the players who featured on that day. Um, so yeah, they, it's a massive accomplishment for the team. Um, and yeah, this that's a little bit of the history of the club. Uh, their mission is to become an elite football academy within the Welsh structure, of course. Being a uni with students, you probably associate the club uh, as being all youth. But as such, there are a few players that um, are lecturers in the uni. Uh, I'll go on about it, but my supervisor is one of the lecturers and a player. Um, so there's a few lecturers and I think they're trying to hopefully build for the future instead of just continuing with the lecturers, of course. So the vision, of course, is family, education, ambition, commitment, and authenticity. Um, a few, you'll see uh, the, on, in that image, the person on the far right is a former player uh, within the Swansea City Academy. Um, and, of course, he believed in the vision of Cardiff Met. Um, but, yeah, there's, um, yeah, the ambition, is just like I said, with the, um, with the uni is just to get people uh, playing in the first team, uh, playing academy football, I'm just playing football generally. Um, and yeah, that's how it gives that family feel. Uh, the values, uh, youth is at its forefront of the club's future. So like previously discussed, um, yeah, moving forward, kind of my uni, everybody is going to be talking about the youth and that's what the university is about. So like, like I just said there, from ages seven to 19, um, you have high class facilities, you have, I think, uh, performance analysis at the club. Um, yeah, you have credited coaches. Uh, as seen on that uh, on that um, poster, so yeah, that's the value there. So the sector, it's a non-for-profit um, as a club, as a football club. You don't expect it to be a non-for-profit, uh, but it, the money that they make from players, um, for bucks as such, trying to uh, pay to get the support of the coaches, um, the players in the main team, of course, helps play the it helps pay the. Uh, uh, the floodlights and stuff, but generally the club is run as a non-for-profit. The key activities, um, they have an academy, the main team, Bucks, the Alfie Waller Cup and the reserves. Uh, I focus more within uh, the main team, Bucks, Alfie Waller Cup and reserves. Um, but basically that's all the services and stuff they provide um, with Bucks pretty much finishing now um, on the 26th of April. Is their last game and they could get promoted. Uh, Alfie World Cup, the middle image you'll see there, just being won by um, Cornelius Crunch 5 1. And of course, the main team, which I don't know if you can see it, um, yeah, playing throughout the whole Cumbria Premier. So the key customers are the players, but it can vary to the, stu- uh, vary to the parents as well. So, of course, the players, the students at Cardiff Met who are studying, uh, of course, they've got to pay a membership fee. Um, so yeah, that's what they're mostly aimed to. Parents, uh, the audience for Cardiff Met are most notably uh, of the older age, so they're the key customers. And of course, players in the academy, I don't think children can really play uh, pay. So they, yeah, so it'd be to the parents. Uh, section three, I'll be speaking about my role, my supervisor, my tasks undertaken and my key outcomes. So my role, uh, you can't see on the top right, but I am behind that camera. Recording that goal, and I oversee the whole buck system. Um, I would assume I'm the media officer. You could call Cardiff Met FC Bucks. Uh, it's a page which can uh, provide content uh, for the Bucks uh, system, the reserves, and the Alfie Wallet Cup. Um, so yeah, we provide. I, I've also provided live updates within the main team at tw- uh, on Twitter. But my main role was to be Cardiff Met Bucks. Um, so yeah, that's the certain role I've had. So my supervisor is Elliot Evans, as I previously noted. Uh, he's a lecturer at the uni. Um, so yeah, he's helped me develop uh, new expectations within the club, uh, what needs to be done, what videos need to be uh, produced, 
content, all that stuff. Um, so yeah, he's also given shown what the club's values are um, as well as you know he knew what the previous media coverage at the club was, uh, and I think within the Bucks system as well. I think he was a. I think he used to play Bucks himself, and I think he would love this content which I provided when he was playing. Um, but yeah, it's helped what shaped what uh, been required at the uni. So tasks undertaken. I don't think that video can record. I don't think there'll be audio in that video, so I'll show you an example. Um, so providing highlights, match day graphics, live live updates, short form content, feature interviews, lineups and promos. On the bottom right, you'll see um, uh, the lineup uh, graphic I produced. Uh, this was within the reserves team. Um, so in this top right is a promo, which I use. I don't think the audio is working. Um, so yeah, I don't think the audio would be working on record. So you can have a listen. So yeah, that's one of the uh, videos I've done, which is a promo for the Buck system. Uh, the short form content would be doing stuff like TikTok style. Um, and match day graphics would be uh, man match, half time, full time, all that stuff. So yeah, that's that's all the tasks I've undertaken. Uh, and I'll move on to the next slide. Oops, sorry about that. Uh, so the key outcomes, um, I, I would measure looking at followers, uh, views generated on posts. Um, Last year, I've done a lot more posts, but this year I've done a lot less, but the quality has been there. So it's shown that it's been better run uh, from last year. So at the bottom, you'll roughly see um, the views uh, monthly, an average of, uh, let's hide this a little bit. So uh, there's a monthly average of 5,300 to 5,600 by me last year, um, which is, it was all right back then, uh, but this year it's a lot much better. Um, this year, uh, we've been averaging 22,600 from my po uh, my posts, which is about 175,000 views from September 26th to April 5th um, of this year, uh, which is insane to think. I mean, that's over a course of eight months. So it's helped definitely build the brand, you could say, uh, at Cardiff Met. Uh, so I value it on that. I think with the followers, I think I started at 50 followers in the first week in my second year. And now in my third year, coming to the end of it, we're just, I think, over 1,100, which is, I think, bigger than the hockey system at the uni uh, in a shorter time, which is absolutely insane to think about. Um, so I'm, I've, I hope the stuff, how I built that is done it. Um, so go on to the next section. Uh, my key competencies are uh, responsible decision-making, self-management, self-motivation, communication, and teamwork. Uh, yes, I think five of them is a, a bit too much, you could say, um, but it's what I feel is what's needed uh, within the role I've had this year. So my evidence during the placement, uh, of course, uh, Bucks Wednesdays aren't always as planned, um, which is, I think, if you, if somebody's marking this, <laughs> you've played it, it's not always as it goes. Um, fixtures can be called off, uh, different times, different locations and such. So yeah, it's, uh, definitely need to be um, decide what I need to do on that day. Uh, this can link to self management, um, planning the management of time as well. I think uh, managing the time, of course, with your assignments, uh, personal life, and if you have a job, I don't have a job, so this year has been a lot easier for me. Um, well, not easier, but a lot easier for Sam. Um, so my self management has been there. Uh, of course, you can see that on one of the images. I've created, I have a Canva, uh, so I've got all my template designs there, ready to be posted out. It just gives a little quick uh, few edit, but if it was doing it from scratch, it would literally take hours. Um, so self-motivation is for the good of the students, which I think is at the forefront, for, 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 should be for everyone. Um, so yeah, I think the students are the main focus, or well, they have to be the main focus, but I feel like the content which is good, has to be good enough for them. Um, the communication, it needs to be understood for the lineups and the squads. So um, I'm in a WhatsApp with uh, the, the managers, some of the players, 
um, all that stuff. Uh, communi- there needs to be communication, um, and I've definitely excelled at that uh, this year. Um, I think maybe one or two errors, but that's um, just by not putting one little L for a Will Peters as a lot of players as an example. Um, as you can see there, <laughs> we uh, I accidentally forgot to say to, to the guy to post one letter out. Um, but that was one. That was only one little issue. <clears throat> and then, like I said, teamwork. It needs to make sure Bucks Wednesdays are run smoothly. So, like at the top, we don't know what what's going to happen on Bucks Wednesday sometimes. So it's always good to have teamwork there to help sh- make sure the pages run smoothly, but also Bucks Wednesdays. So my formal learning opportunities uh, in regards to self motivation, the modules have helped shape what I do, but also what is expected from me. I think looking at my second year. I think I could have definitely, I thought I was the best person you could ever think of for media. And then third years just took me lightly. I just I knew what I needed to improve. Um, and I think I've improved a lot since then. Um, but yeah, it's also I shaped my attitude and how the work I, how I view the work I've done. So yeah, just generally it's helped shape what I need to do. And like that image says, it gives me some self-worth. So with my mental and supervisor support, I, so... The sessions with my supervisor have helped improve my teamwork within the time at the club, helps me understand the brand, and helps outline what teams are the most important. Important. So, looking at the second se- uh, second part, um, it's helped, definitely helped me understand what the brand is. Uh, of course, with, college, with students, um, you need to help uh, build that brand, and I think the consistency that we've done with uh, what I've done within the page has helped. Um, boost what Bucks is uh, is into the football system, um, and with the what teams are the most important. I think I wanted to do the ones the sixes in the Bucks system is the most important, and I think that was too much stress upon me. So ones and twos are the most important, and as I've gone to away games with the ones um, for the Bucks system. So section five, I'll be looking at my gratitude assessment, or how I titled it, the grat assessment. Uh, the review of my career management plan, uh, 18 to 36 months, and am I on track? And top tips for future students. So first of all, I reviewed my RIP1. Have I improved? Uh, in regard to my gratitude assessment, I feel I have improved with my lifelong learning as I've had to adapt to new situations within my placement um, as I took a more serious role. I think last year, was, of course, the first year uh, within your placement, you're just trying to understand where everything is, of course. Uh, we haven't had that experience, so I think I was just trying to understand it. I think I did too much, um, like I previously said, and not got the end result. Um, so, yeah, I think I've took a more serious role. I think I'm more well-respected, I think you could say, at the uni. Um, people know who I am, um, which has been great. But, yeah, I think yeah, it's, it's made me uh, adapt to um, where, where my place is within the university. So I've definitely said I've improved there. Uh, reviewing on my career management plan, I think I said I was going. I wanted to go to the World Cup. Um, I don't think my dreams are over, you could say. Um, but as a club journalist, I've tried to um, help shape the whole brand as a whole, um, but also my dedication. Um, but yeah, I think I said about trying to study the broadcast co- broadcast course in the eighteen months. Of course, I'm in my third year, hoping to pass to get onto broadcast. Um, so I think looking at this, if I did it next year, it's probably a lot what would be my focus heading into 2026 and if Wales qualify for the World Cup, which hopefully we do. Um, but yeah, uh, and it's my final part, top tips for future students. I think teamwork, planning, creativity and helping others are what's key. So teamwork, working as a team will make life so much easier. Um, it would definitely, definitely help me. Um, it, I felt a lot. I felt at the end of the term when it was a lot easier for uh, for me at uh, planning. So having a structure for assignments, your work life and your personal life. Um, of course, assignments are the main key, and of course with the placement as well. Um, so that helps there. The creativity, the creativity is definitely key. So it's just helped to get the upper hand over other pages, uh, such as the cricket team, the football, uh, not the football team, the cricket team, the rugby team even the women's football, like I said. But yeah, it's, it's definitely, it's getting the uh, upper hand as such. And then finally, um, it's helping others. The students and players are the main priority for the club, as it should be. This should be a service they should have 
Um, because if they're paying within the, uh, the system, they deserve to have uh, that available to them. Um, so yeah, they deserve to what they deserve to have to pay, and like instead of like just having no content posted, uh, like maybe three or four posts a week, I've tried to make sure that's like ten to eleven posts a week. Um, so to have just content available for everyone as such. Um, but yeah, just. If they have, if you have those four kind of kind of ones, I think even if you have two or three, you're definitely going to do a great job into the placement. Uh, I think I've just run a little bit over. Um, the required 15 minutes, <laughs> um, but yeah, just yeah, to end it off at that. I think yeah, this is my placement from uh, this year, but also um, a self reflection of what I've done this year as well. Uh, thank you for listening. I'm Harrison Jones, and thank you.